you're a full-time driver, you should really consider renting a car rather than driving your own vehicle. And if you've made that decision, then you got another decision to make. And what's, which is better? There's two programs. There's the fare for Uber car program. That's the Uber side. And then there's the Lyft Express Drive. That's the Lyft side. In this video, I'm going to compare the two. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you which one will net you more money if you drive 125 trips per week. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today it's the battle of the titans, Lyft versus Uber. Uh, so they both have their uh, car rental programs. Uh, they promote them heavily. And there's the one for Uber, which is called FAIR, the FAIR for Uber car program. And then there's the one for Lyft called Lyft Express, right? So we're going to compare those two and uh, see which one, uh, you know, which, which one comes out on top. Number one. First question you got to ask yourself is why would I rent a car versus uh, having my own personal vehicle? Well, I've written an article about that and made a video about that, and I've shown that the depreciation that you're going to incur as a full-time driver is really going to um, offset uh, any benefits that you have of owning your own car. So it just makes financial sense. In the analysis I did for 2019, it's like a $450 a month savings when you rent a car versus. Uh, driving your own vehicle. Okay, number two, which one costs less, fare versus Lyft? The answer is the fare for Uber car program costs less. So as you can see here on the screen right now, uh, we can see that the rental cars from fare uh, cost in California right now $195 per week plus a refundable deposit of $195. And there are other options in other parts of the country, so you just got to go to their website and get the information there. Next, we can see what uh, Lyft is charging. So Lyft is charging uh, $219 per week. So we can compare $195 to $219. So that's about a $20 difference. Plus, there's going to be tax on both of those, so you got to add another like $15. So it's like. 211 versus 200 and almost 40. So that's a $30 per week difference. So in this category of price, uh, fare for Uber wins. Three, which offers the better bonus? So the bonus is essential uh, to your calculations because uh, both Uber and Lyft offer special bonuses just for people that rent their cars. So the winner here is the fare for Uber car program. They offer a significantly better bonus. So as we can see here, the, in San Francisco, the offer is $190 each week when you complete 125 trips. And then if you uh, drive a little bit more, you can make a little bit more money. But we're just going to look at uh, the 125 trips per week. Now we can compare that to uh, the Lyft program. And you can see that when you give 125 rides, you get a $160 a week bonus. So we're comparing 160 to 190. So again, that's a $30 difference in the favor of the fare for Uber car program. So we've got a $30 savings on the price and a $30 bump um, in the bonus. So that's $60 in total better uh, when you go with the fare for Uber car program. Four, which one provides the better insurance? So if you have your own vehicle, you gotta purchase ride share insurance. But if you do the rental programs, they both provide uh, rideshare insurance. But the winner here again is the fare for Uber car program because of the deductible. The fare deductible is only $500, whereas the Lyft deductible is $1,000, which means if you get into an accident and you have to pay out, um, you're, you're only going to pay $500 with the fare for Uber car program, but you're going to pay out 1000 out of pocket with the Lyft program. Number five. So which program is better overall? Well, it's been kind of a slam dunk. The fare for Uber car program. You're gonna pay less uh, per week for the car, you're gonna get a better bonus for the car, and you're gonna have better insurance for the car. Now, I broke this into a spreadsheet, which you can see on the screen right now. When we look at the spreadsheet, we can see that with the Uber fare for, the fare for Uber car program, I'm paying $210 a week for the car. I'm collecting $190 in a bonus, so I'm net paying a net of $20 that's $1,000 for the year. 
With lift, I'm paying $235. I'm only collecting $160 in bonus, so I'm paying out $75 a week or $3,750 for the year. That's a difference of $2,750. That's significant. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, clearly the fare for Uber car program at 125 trips per week makes the most sense. It's going to save you money in how much you're paying for the car. You're going to make more money in a bonus and your, your insurance is, is better. Um, however, um, that's uh, in California. So you got to look at what, what's the uh, program that you're being offered in the market that you work in, and then you got to do your own numbers. The other thing you got to, uh, the other takeaway is that these numbers change. So uh, fare could uh, decrease the bonus, could increase the bonus. A lift could decrease the bonus, increase the bonus. The prices could change. So you really kind of once a month, I would recommend check the numbers and see if anything's changed. And the last takeaway is both companies make it super simple for you to get a car. So you could bounce back and forth between the different programs um, depending on which one's offering the, the best deal. But for the last year or so that FAIR has been in the market, they've been significantly better uh, than Lyft. So I'd say go with the Uber program. The FAIR for Uber car program seems to be a real winner. I did try it for 10 weeks and it was great for me. All right, everybody, it's Jay Crater. I want to say thanks for watching the video. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Get the latest and greatest news and information about the rideshare industry right here uh, three to four times every single week we put out a video. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there. Bye-bye.